In this video, we're going to look at one of our favorite products, the Lightsaber Collection Special Edition Fire Cuda PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD. Before we make the jump to light speed, I want to talk about why we made this product. When this product was conceived, we knew we wanted to make something truly unique for the system builders out there. What better way to do that than combine the technical prowess and performance of our award-winning Firecuda line with an innovative method for cosmetic customization. And then we took it one step further by combining these with one of the most legendary IPs in the world, Star Wars. And you can't think of Star Wars without thinking about the sizzling hiss of a lightsaber crackling to life and the glow that comes along with that sound. But enough of me geeking out, let me introduce you to my colleague Derek, who's gonna go a bit more in depth on the product. Yeah, we've been working with Lucasfilms on special edition drives for a few years now. We've made several external storage devices in the Star Wars universe, and we've always wanted to create something special for our NVMe SSDs for system builders. That led us to lightsabers, because what's more iconic in the Star Wars universe than lightsabers? We started by first building a high-performance heatsink with EKWB that's at the core of this product. And funnily enough, one of the major challenges we faced became the inspiration for one of the coolest features of this product. When it came time for the team to decide which character we were going to feature, there was a heated debate on which lightsaber we were going to go with. Because if you ask five different Star Wars fans what their favorite character is, Jedi or Sith, you're going to get five different answers. So working with EKWB, we developed a first-of-its-kind heatsink that allows you to actually switch your character design. Okay, so three characters come in the one box. And I see we have Luke Skywalker, we have Obi-Wan, and we also have the big bad daddy of them all, Darth. That's right. We work closely with Lucasfilms on these designs, even referencing original props from the original movies. So let's take a look at this bad boy. Tell us how you install and change the character designs. Great. Before we get started, you'll need the following. A clean work surface, a small screwdriver, and of course, when installing any parts in your PC, we strongly encourage wearing an anti-static wrist strap to reduce the chance of damaging your hardware. If you want to change the lightsaber hilt design on your SSD, changing the faceplate on the heatsink is easy. Out of the box, the heatsink will have one of the three included faceplates pre-installed. To switch faceplates, gently place your fingers on each side of the heatsink, gently slide the faceplate to the left or right until it detaches from the heatsink. Be careful to avoid touching the M.2 plug. To attach a different plate, first note the location of the two alignment tracks on either side of the drive and the retention ball bearing on the top. Note the corresponding groove tracks on the faceplate. Align the tracks of the heatsink and the faceplate and gently slide the faceplate until it clicks into place on the retention bearing. With your preferred faceplate now securely in place, you're ready to install your SSD into your motherboard. Before installing the drive, make sure to consult your motherboard's instruction manual for any specific details on how to install a new SSD unique to your motherboard. Make sure you have clear access to your M.2 slot prior to installation. You may have to remove components to clear access. First, remove the M.2 mounting screw that came with your motherboard. Then, insert the SSD key pins into the M.2 connector until the pins are firmly seated and the drive is flush with the mounting screw hole. Gently slide the faceplate, exposing the mounting screw slot. Now use the motherboard screw to fasten it in. Once your screw is secure, slide the faceplate back to hide the screw, which gives you a nice clean look. Finally, plug the provided 5 volt RGB cord into the heatsink. It's important to note that there is a top and a bottom to the cord connector, so if it doesn't go in easily on the first try, it may be upside down. Once the cable is plugged into the heatsink, Plug the other end of the cord into a 5 volt addressable header on your motherboard. Now your new SSD and heatsink are installed. Once your machine is powered on and running, setting the color on the heatsink works like any other RGB device. You can use your motherboard's BIOS system or your favorite RGB controller application. You can customize the RGB settings like you can any other component, you know, changing your blade color to match your Sith or Jedi hilt. I can speak as a pretty avid Star Wars collector myself. These things look absolutely sweet. The level of detail on them is phenomenal. But this thing is not just for looks. It's an SSD and a performance one at that. So why don't we go a little bit more into what's under the hood? Yeah, you said it. This is an SSD at its core and likely going to be a boot drive. So it can't just be about the looks. It needs to perform as well. And that's why we put our Firecuda 530 NVMe inside. 
So you're saying this isn't powered by a kyber crystal? No, 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 no. The sequential reads and writes on kyber, not so great, so right. we went with TLC NAND instead. That's acceptable, and, and I imagine the Empire is going to make it pretty hard to import any kyber as well. Exactly. So Fire CUDA 530 means speed and the drive that goes up to 7,300 megabytes a second for read and writes, right? Yep, and with that speed comes the need to manage heat and thermal throttling. So at its core, this is still a heat sink and EKWB did an incredible job designing a chassis that not only cools the drive, but also can incorporate the LED and the top plate without decreasing any of the effectiveness of the heat dissipation. We should also mention that this drive is an M.2 PCIe Gen 4x4 NVMe SSD, so it's backwards and forwards compatible with Gen 3 and Gen 5 motherboards. That's right. So it's got looks and performance. It's exactly what a PC builder and a Star Wars collector like me is looking for. We can't wait to get this product into the hands of Star Wars fans everywhere.